Vatican, I want you to turn up the heat. You are currently located at the base of the European nations. I want to see you start building God's holy mountain by first smashing them and bringing them to an end. I do not want you to enter into an unholy alliance with them. I want you to utterly crush them so that they become like chaff on a threshing floor that the wind sweeps away without leaving a trace. You should not judge the wine by what the bottle looks like. The bottle and the wine are really two different things. The jar that seems to be the most marred may actually contain the best wine, which is clearly what happened in my case. Reflect on the great sacrificial love of Christ. The thought of the infinite becoming an infant so that he could one day lay down his life for you is what I call God showing us what kind of true friendship and love we should be willing to have for each other in the kingdom of God. Am I? I am. I usually do not judge the person. I usually judge the sin. However, if I do judge the person, my judgment is just. Accept instruction or experience destruction. It is better to let me correct then judge you. A new age world order would be like going through the dark ages again. Father Michael Judge, may the love of God be upon you because you gave your life in priestly service to the Master. I vow to make sure that your name is eternally known and never fades away. And since you died doing what I commanded, and although your life was temporarily blown out like a candle while performing our Father's business, the memory of you and what you did shall blossom and live forever. You will always be my friend. Rest in peace. Jesus is God, but he can't be God the Son without God the Father. You don't judge God's holiness by our unholiness. God judges our unholiness by his holiness. The life consists of the soul, which is the spirit, and the body, which is the mind, will, and emotions. Eternal life consists of the soul, which is the Holy Spirit, and the body, which is the mind, will, emotions, and doing good. I do not have a weapon of mass destruction. I do, however, have a weapon of mass hysteria and chaos that will bring worldwide destruction. The only one that will be damned, if you say the word God damned, is you. 
Forgive and then forget. Don't forget to forgive. God, forgive me. Don't forget me. We need to get to the place where we don't hold resentments. And the easiest way to do that is to not get upset in the first place. The whole world cannot contain what is written in this one book. Therefore, we are going to need a new world. It is now our obligation, our responsibility, to take care of the world since the heathen have proved that they can't do it. Everyone should make a vow to dedicate at least one year of their life to doing nothing but pouring out love and service to God who gave them life. Although life in the kingdom is good, it is not yet perfect, which gives us something as a people to keep striving for. The kingdom of the knowledge of the glory of God Apparently, God did not give us the free will to choose since the first thing he did was curse damn near everything the first time we used it. Some preachers seem to think it is the testimony of Jesus instead of the testimony. When a person is saved, the Lord our God adds them to the church. They must then make the choice of which church to join. I hope it's the Catholic Church. The Muslims don't worship the moon, and neither do the Jews worship a star. The sign of the Son of Man that will appear in the sky will also occur when you all learn of your begottenness and are glorified in the Spirit as a heavenly Son of God like I am. The thought that God gave you the free will to choose is diabolically opposed to the truth that you are only allowed to do what he wills and commands. I plan on being such a good king that you won't question my path. I am not an unlettered prophet, so the chances of someone twisting what I have said and written is greatly lessened. I have brought you the way you are supposed to look at the truth, so that it gives you the life of Jesus. 